unfortunately, we already have five decades of a case study that clearly shows with too much government involvement, things don't move all that quickly. Very few people benefit from that, and it's certainly not the masses. And that's clearly represented in the level of energy poverty that we're experiencing across the African continent. So as far as government's involvement go, they do play a critical role, but they, all they should be doing is setting a sensible direction. At the end of the day, the market needs to drive that needs to push it forward, your private sector needs to be involved in that market in actually formulating a sustainable structure. And once again, uh, we don't want to use the word sustainable too, too broadly and too freely. We need to get down to basics, we need to get onto the ground, and we need to get communities electrified, one way or another, centralized or even decentralized energy generation. Well, I don't uh, believe that we're going to resolve our challenges around energy poverty within 10 years, but I think getting a 10-year plan in place is going to be a phenomenal start. And number one, basics and fundamentals. Let's understand energy poverty. Let's understand how it's originated. We already understand that through transmission and distribution or lack thereof, we have run into severe trouble across the continent in electrifying communities. We're on this verge of decentralized energy generation, which is really already gaining traction. And through decentralized energy generation, we're going to find opportunities through microgrids downstream where we can electrify small villages, communities, right up to cities and actually make them sustainable from an energy standpoint. So that's really the start. It's about acknowledging that government should just be set in that general direction, but the private sector has to get involved and has to be allowed to be involved right, in actually getting these innovative solutions in place. And it's not something that's out of the ordinary. It's accessible and it's available today. It's more of a political question that needs to change. The sustainability of any energy environment comes out of the professional nature that that energy mix has been developed within. Right? So your energy mix will include uh, renewable energy, it could include conventional generation in form of coal-fired generation, so we mustn't write that off just yet. You know, we've, uh, half, a, half a century is a long time and we do have the resources available. So we've got to be sensible and we've got to be practical. If we're saying that we're going completely renewable based, um, I do believe uh, it's going to be a very difficult process moving forward. Let's deal with what we've got. We've got the renewable technology, but at the same time we've got phenomenal other technologies in the form of geothermal. We've got traditional fossil fuel technology as well. Let's build that in the right percentages and the right uh, portions within the energy mix that's ultimately going to bring the solution to the, to the table.